Hi and greetings. This is Mr. 3D Studio Max Master. Okay, right today what we're going to do is we're going to do a tutorial on V-Ray. Um, it's going to be a few hints and tips here and there. Um, well, if you're not you new to Studio Max, you will know that uh, V-Ray um, is a third-party plugin. Um, in other words, it's not standard, so you'll have to buy one. Um, anyway, let's crack on and hope you enjoy it. Okay, right. First of all, we'll set up the uh, the rendering engine. So I go to render, render setup. Right, scroll down to assign renderer. Uh, there we go. V-Ray advanced 1.5. Right, we'll set the other up as well while we're here. Right, um, V-Ray um, adaptive DMC. Right, the anti-aliasing filter. Um, when you've got a bit of time, you know, and you've finished this tutorial, um, just experiment with some of these and uh, see what you think. But for this tutorial, I'll be using the V-Ray Sync filter. Okay, down to the color mapping. We'll just check these boxes like so. Right, onto the lighting. Indirect illumination. We'll turn on the. We'll turn it on, basically. Right for the secondary bounces, we'll have uh, the light cache. Um, it's currently set at high. Uh, we'll just go for a medium because um, we don't have to wait half a million years for it to render, um, which you can do. But medium, you get a pretty decent render and it's good quality. Right, that's that should be it. Settings, fine. Yep, there we go. Right, we'll start off um, with a great big sphere, like so. There we go. Now, if you scroll your middle wheel button forward in a perspective, you can go inside the sphere. As you can see, it's black and you can't really see much. So, we're going to bore a great big hole in the middle of it. Okay, so what we'll do is go to the modify panel, the list, scroll down to the shell modifier. There we go. It's not bad, is it? It's just quite a nice colour. Right, there we go. Right, next thing we're going to need is a a plane, really. Um, but I'm going to use a cylinder, like so, just for a round uh, base to um, place things on. You know your models, etc. Yeah, you can you can use uh, a plane like that one, but I'm going to be using the round one because it's nice. And I'm doing a tutorial, so there you go. Right, next thing we want is 3D Studio Max's most famous object, the teapot. And what we'll do, we go like that. It's nice and big. Okay. Lastly, um, for this part, we'll set up the lighting. So I'll click on the lights. Right, we're already on V-Ray and V-Ray light. Right, uh, a lot of people just have the plain light. Uh, it's not too bad um, uh, for various things, like so. But what I'm going to be using is the sphere light like so okay we'll turn that down brightness so it's nice and subdued well, the radius is just right actually could go down just a little bit 
there we go there we go. right sampling the subdivisions um, what that means is the higher the subdivision the sharper the shadows and the images because when it's quite low it's very grainy and bitty and not so good okay here we go let's get a nice angle on it right next thing we're going to do is open up the material right here uh, just press on M like so I've set up some uh, materials already but I'll go through how to do it so I'll take these three spheres like so right the first one right as we're rendering in V-Ray we're going to need V-Ray materials so we'll click on the standard button and the browser comes up right there we go we need the V-Ray material like so right change the diffuse to pure white okay so I'll drag and drop that onto the uh, the base um, right inside the sphere right let me just explain something first uh, like uh, other rendering engines like mental ray and even the default scan line in uh, Studio Max um, if you want a chrome effect or a gold effect um, oh basically a reflecting material uh, a lot of it relies on the environment to reflect stuff on so what we'll do for this one um, is set the globe so we'll put a nice background on there um, so what I'll do here again we'll go standard V-Ray material right now for the diffuse we can use what's known as an HDR which is a uh, high dynamic range um, it's great for reflectances and stuff like that so go to bitmap right I'm already in the HDR map uh, bit studio max you get a few to start with but um, if you look on the internet you find loads more to download oh, some are free and some you have to pay for sadly so anyway what I'll do I'll just click on and choose the town square ok nice so you can see a little image down here let's open that up yep settings are just right right you can see there so I'll click and drag that to the globe like so so let's have a little look at that as you can see it looks pretty ugly really doesn't it but we uh, won't, won't worry about that for now actually won't worry about it at all right next to the teapot right um, I'm going to show you something first before we go into uh, the chrome and the gold and stuff like that we'll put uh, just a basic colour onto it and I'm going to show you how the light uh, works with um, objects how it bounces and stuff like that here we go so we'll just choose rendering and we'll render it okay it's going to take a little bit so I'll come back in just a second hi I'm back right now if you look carefully you can see uh, the white light bouncing off the teapot and hitting the base okay which is quite nice really because um, that's got some uh, good applications you can use for other jobs right back to the material editor now we're going to make some chrome right we'll select that um, color again but this time we're going to have to turn it to jet black okay all right we'll change the reflection to pure white because right the the brighter the color on the reflection the more reflective it's going to be 
OK, uh, we'll increase the subdivisions for a better quality. Um, I'll go for 24. Nice little colour, that number. Right, there we go. And that should be good. Now, remember our HDR on the globe that we put on earlier. You're going to see it reflect off the teapot along with the white base. So let's render that. Here we go. Right, I'll wait for that to render because it takes about uh, just over a minute. I don't know if you guys can listen to me babble on for a whole minute. Um, but it could actually give me a, an opportunity to tell you about my site. Um, it's quite new. Um, I've been working on it for a, about a week. Uh, so if you do like the site, uh, please tell your friends and uh, even your enemies if you've got any. Um, that they can come here and uh, learn stuff. And it'd be great to uh, get some feedback from viewers. Um, tell me what they think uh, and if it's any use to them. Right, here we go, the rendering. There we go, look at that. There we go. A chrome coloured teapot. Now, isn't that something? There we go. Terrific. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to duplicate this. So we'll click on the teapot, um, hold down shift, click and just drag so you can make a copy. I said copy, not coffee. Okay, right, back to the material editor, but this time, instead of Chrome, uh, what we're going to do is going to turn it into gold. Uh, I've never tried tea from a golden teapot, but I bet it tastes good. Right, V-Ray material again. Uh, go for jet black for the diffuse. But this time what we're going to do, instead of having a black, white or grey, we're going for a yellow. Like so. OK that. Again, subdivisions, 24. Um, we'll assign that to that teapot. You can see a slight yellow tinge there. And again, what we'll do, we'll render it. Um, and what you'll see is this teapot reflecting on here, and this teapot reflecting on this one. And so is the base white, and so is the globe. So anyway, see what you think. So let's render. Here we go. <coughs> yeah, so welcome to 3ds max master dot net uh, 16 net dot net it's only been open uh, about a week um, and also if you do like it um, I'm going to be putting some Facebook and Twitter buttons on there so you can put it on your Facebook pages and your blogs and God knows where else is right actually it's not going too bad at the moment for speed so, anyway, let's see how it goes. Right, pre pass three of three. Right, here we go. You can see the, uh, you can almost see the uh, reflection already just here. And there is our golden teapot. Yeah. It's quite nice there, isn't it? Right, just before we finish, um, what I'm going to do is go back to the material editor. And we're going to put something on the base for it to be a bit more 
reflective. Okay. Right, okay, so we go V ray material. Um diffuse. Um, what we'll have this time uh, is wood. Okay, HDRs, wood. Again, you get um, a, a few materials to work with uh, with Max, but again, you can download off the internet or even take photos of wood, um, and then you can assign these to all your models and God knows what. Right, open. All right, we'll tile it. Say about f four times by four. Right, let's drag and drop that onto the surface, and let's look what it see what it looks like. As you can see, it looks a mess. So to get rid of that, you'll click on the um, cylinder, and we'll add what's known as a UV map. Scroll down, UVW map, and there you have it. Right, back to the material. Okay, what we'll do now is just put a, a little bit of a reflectancy on the wood, just a touch. Um, I think we'll only have 12 subdivisions, and last time we will render this. It might take a little bit longer, but it shouldn't be too much. Shouldn't be. Right, as you can see, um, building light cache is rendering quite nicely. Uh, anyway, uh, as it's rendering, um, if you come back to my website, um, you'll be seeing a lot more tutorials on modelling. Uh, Krakatoa, which is uh, an, an incredible uh, particle rendering uh, plugin. Uh, you can you can render millions and millions of particles, and the effects are well, they are wow. Um, also, what I'm going to be doing is doing some uh, real flow tutorials, which is a uh, liquid dynamics so you can recreate water chocolate oil honey uh, it's absolutely brilliant um, and lastly um, I'll be doing some fume FX tutorials as well so you can have some fire right there we go you can see the reflectant the reflection in the woods which is quite nice isn't it um, it's almost looking like a photo already. There we go. Almost done. There we go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm Chris Rendell. Uh, my website, again, is 3dsmaxmaster.net16.net. Okay, thanks again. Bye-bye for now.